Hey guys, Mike Mouse 74 with a video request by 84 Ironhide and I'll also be dedicating this review to him as well. This is a video review of Transformers Reveal the Shield Solar Storm Capel with my comparison of Transformers Universe 2.0 Inferno. So I thought I'd quickly show you the box that he comes in. Let's uh, quickly show you the back and I'll show you that as well. So there you see Solar Storm Capel in robot mode and vehicle mode as well and the Autobot Reveal the Shield logo is on the side of the truck which I'll be showing you a little bit later on in the review so let's get these guys in uh, vehicle mode and see what we got stay tuned guys so here we have Solo Storm Grappel in his construction and vehicle mode I'll give you guys a close-up of the figure uh, a full 360, talk a little bit about some of the detail. I'll also give you guys a comparison with Transformers Universe 2.0 Inferno in vehicle mode and in robot mode. And for a bonus feature, I thought I'd throw in G1 Grapple to show you a comparison in robot mode to show you some of the changes that he's made over the years and then move on right into the transformation and all that fun stuff. So I'll give you guys a close up of the, of the figure. And I'll give you guys a full 360 so you can see how awesome he is all around. He's a really, really cool figure. I, I do highly recommend him. Again, I do realize he's a hard figure to find, but he's well worth the wait. Really, really cool figure. I just, I just can't say enough about him. So I'll discuss a little bit about some of the detail in the figure. You can see that he has the, the black caution uh, symbols along the side of the truck there and on the back there as well. And he does have the Autobot rub on logo. If you hold your thumb there for a couple of seconds or if you just want to rub on it, it should uh, show you the Autobot symbol. Works pretty good if you guys can see that or not. It does have six wheels, uh, four at the back, two here, two here, and then two up at the front. And it does have um, four exhaust um, at the back here. And again, it has two more of those, of those um, black caution uh, symbols along the side of the truck here and along the back there as well. And it has silver um, windows along the side. And it has clear translucent windows along the, uh, along the front here. And then silver along the side for the windows here as well. And on the, the crane does work and I'll show you that. I'll just put the camera down. So the uh, crane does lift up and it does, it, it rotates but not all the way around. It stops right about here. And you just kind of rotate it like so. And like I said, it stops right here. And then just rotate it back around like so. And then the crane does extend. If you just move that out like so, and then you just push it back in. And then the hook does move forward and back like so. And then I'll also give you a comparison with Transformers Universe 2.0 Inferno. So here we have both Transformers Universe 2.0 Inferno and Transformers Reveal the Shield Solar Storm Repel in vehicle mode. I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, comparison between the two. I'll give you guys a close up. Before I forget, I did forget to mention that they both have the light on top. Um, Grappel is has the red light and Inferno has the clear translucent. Um, Inferno has the number 401 and an Autobot logo whereas Grappel has the Autobot logo along the side of the vehicle. Um, the lights on the Grappel are translucent on the, on the front here as well. And uh, they're, they're clear translucent. Um, he has white along here and Grappel are uh, a silver color. And instead of having the, the uh, caution uh, symbol along the uh, side of the vehicle, Inferno has the white uh, stripe along the side and it says fire rescue and again the numbers 401 along the side of the uh, vehicle and Grappel has this long um, long crane and Inferno has the uh, water cannon along the top of the vehicle as well but they're pretty much both the same uh, same figure just a, just a different color and it, as you can see in the back um, they both have the the exhaust uh, on the bottom of the vehicle and same with uh, Inferno. Uh, again, um, Grappel's feet are yellow and 
Inferno's feet are black. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick comparison between the two figures. So without further ado, let's get uh, Solarstorm Grappel in robot mode and uh, see what we got. So I'll give you guys one more last look of Grappel in his construction vehicle mode before I go ahead and put him in his robot mode. I'll give you guys one more close up and one more full 360, which I know you guys absolutely love and enjoy. So he's a really, really awesome figure. Again, I do recommend him. I realize he's hard to find, but just, just get him. Um, and he's actually not a bad transformation. He's really, really easy and a lot of fun. So to go ahead and put him in his robot mode, let me just move the camera back. Um, and I've seen some reviews on this, on this guy. Um, what seems to work, just bring these side panels to the side like so. Do the same thing with the other side. Just bring these and uh, flip them to the side. And um, the side here, you just want to lift this up, kind of loosen it out of the way. And then uh, flip these to the side as well. Do the same thing with the other side. You just want to actually just move the, move the crane out of the way so it's kind of like not in the way. And then uh, you just want to loosen this up a little bit like so and then flip this to the side like that. Um, next you just kind of, you want to just like unpeg from the top of the vehicle because it's pegged in right, right here. So you just want to kind of loosen this up a little bit like so. And then just kind of, if I can do this without the, the, uh, the top coming off because it's pegged in there. So just kind of bring it up. like so, and then flip the uh, side panel in underneath, like so. Do the same thing with this side, if I can do it without it popping off, because it, it tends to do that, so you gotta be extremely careful, because it seems like it wants to break, but it won't. It'll just probably end up popping off. So just like this, and then put the uh, push the side panel underneath, like that. And then the, the arms, you just wanna bring out the arms, like so. Do the same thing with the other arm. You just want to bring it out like so. For the uh, wheels, I forgot to do. Push the wheel in like this. Do the same thing with the other wheel. Push that in there like that. Um, and then this part here, just kind of lift it up because it's kind of pegged in there. It's pegged in right in here, in that area. And then you just kind of take the lower torso of Grappel. And, and as you do that, if you can see the wheels do go underneath like so. And then uh, for a grip, Grappel's head, you just want to push forward on the light and out pops his head like that. And then uh, on the back side, you want to accordion this up, just like so. And then uh, for the legs, you just want to unpeg like so. You don't want to rotate all the way down. You just want to rotate from here down, just like this. And then bring down the foot. And then again, do the same thing with the other uh, the other leg. You don't again. You don't want to rotate all the way down. You just want to rotate halfway from here down, just like that. Pretty simple. And then you just bring down the other foot. And then uh, don't forget to bring that down. Um, some reviewers they they these panels here they can either put them down or put them down to the side. Uh, I'm just gonna put them down like that so it's out of the way. And then uh, you bring down uh, Grappel's uh, fist. And then do the same thing, just move the camera up a little bit. And then just kind of move that out of the way and put that down behind him. And then you want to just bring down the, the arm of uh, Grappel. And then uh, for the cannon, move the can uh, camera down for a minute. And just kind of push that to the, to the back like so. And then there you have Reveal the Shield, Solar Storm Grappel in his robot mode. If I can kind of stand him up for you guys. Let's fix him up. So I'll give you guys a full 360 and a close up of the figure. So I'll give you, I'll give you a close up first so you can see how cool he is in robot mode. 
really, really cool. I'm really impressed with this figure. I'll give you guys a full 360 so you can see what he's like all around. If I can do it without him falling, then it's uh, another bonus. And I'll also give you guys a comparison with Transformers Universe 2.0 Inferno as well. So, I'll uh, give you guys a comparison, like I said, with Transformers Universe 2.0 Inferno. So here we have both Transformers Reveal the Shield, Solo Storm Grappel, and Transformers Universe 2.0 Inferno in robot mode. As I said, I'll give you guys a comparison to show you how cool they both really, really look. So I'll give you guys a full 360, and I'll give you a close-up of Inferno. Both really awesome figures, really cool figures to add to your collection. The lead piping and the eyes are just amazing. And the, the head sculpt is, is a little bit uh, a little bit different from um, Inferno, and I'll show you that. So you can see it is a little bit different. So I just wanted to point that out and show you guys that as well. And I'll also give you guys a comparison with G1 Grapple as well. So I'll give you guys one more full 360 of them both together. So I'll uh, be back and I'll show you G1 uh, Grapple with uh, Transformers Reveal the Shield Grapple. So as promised, I told you guys I would do a side-by-side -side comparison with Reveal the Shield Grappel and G1 Grapple to show you the changes that he's made over the past years. And I must say he's made quite a lot of changes. So I'll give you guys a close-up of Grappel and then uh, I'll give you guys a close-up of G1 Grapple and then I'll give you guys a full 360 so you can see all around the changes that they both made over the past years. So I'll give you a close-up of Grappel first. Again, so he's made quite a, uh, quite a few changes over the past years. Both awesome figures. And then next we move on to G1 Grapple. So you can obviously tell the uh, size difference. Um, you can see the Autobot logo on G1 Grapple is on the chest, and for the Autobot logo on Grapple is on the uh, side of the uh, side of the vehicle. Um, the head may be a little bit uh, a, a little bit similar. Uh, I'll get a close up of the heads for you. So you can see some 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 of it's pretty much the same. Uh, the, the, the chest is almost the same and I'll give you guys a full 360 so you can see the back as well the crane on the G1 grapple is on the back as you can see and the crane whereas on uh, grapel is on the left or on the right arm of uh, grapel so I just wanted to point that out So like I said, I just wanted to do a quick video of the changes that uh, Solo Storm Grappel made over the past years. So
So I'll give you another close up and another full 360 before I go ahead and put uh, Grappel back in his construction mode vehicle. And again, I want to thank 84 Ironhide for requesting this video. I really had a lot of fun doing this. So I'll give you a close up of Grappel in his robot mode. And I'll give you guys another full 360 to show you all around before I put him back in his vehicle mode. So to go ahead and put him in his vehicle mode, um, kind of what I want to do first is just, if you want to put the head down, you can uh, just kind of move this back like so, and you can put the, uh, the head down like so. Um, and then you want to just kind of get the feet, get the feet ready, and then just move the feet up like so, and then do the same thing with the other foot. And then uh, you want to just rotate at the, uh, the knee down like so. And then do the same thing with the other other side, just from the knee down, you wanna rotate just like so. And then you wanna peg these together, just like so, if I can do this for you. Just like that. And then uh, next you wanna just take the, the back and then just kinda of lift it up like so. And then kind of just get the arms, kind of get the arms ready and whatnot. And then uh, you want to put the this part here, just bring that back down. Um, next, you want to just kind of like lift these up out of the way, just kind of get them ready as well. And then uh, you want to bring back the arms, like so, and then rotate this to the side, and then bring this down to the side as well. And then uh, next you want to do the same thing with the other side as well. You want to bring the arm of Grappel, just kind of like get the crane out of the way and bring the arm back if I can do it without it popping off and then move this to the side. And then uh, Kind of like if you want to get the wheels, move, move the wheels out like so. And then do the same thing with the other, with the other wheel. And then you want to just push that back up. Um, and then you want to just unfold this like that. And kind of like get everything all in, all in place. So just kind of tap this in there like so and then do the same thing with the other side. You wanna just take this and unfold that and just kind of get the crane out of the way again and just fold this if you can, put that right inside here like so, clip that in. And then next, you just wanna unfold the, the doors from underneath here and then do the same thing with the other side. You wanna unfold the this part here, if I can get it for you, like so. And then you want to bring these down, like so, if I can do this for you. Like so, and then kind of just kind of tab it, into, tab it into place. And do the same thing with this side. And then just kind of make sure this is tabbed in nice and nice and uh, nice and secure. And then you just want to close the uh, side panels like so. And again, do the same thing on the other side. And then close the side panel in like that. And then lastly, and then you just want to bring the crane back into place. And there you have Transformers Reveal the Shield Solar Storm Repel back in his construction mode vehicle. 
Uh, again, I thank 84 Iron Night for requesting this uh, review. It's, it was totally my pleasure of doing this. It was, it was an honor, man. Uh, it was great. I had, like, like I said, I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, so this is my mouse 74. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, support the mouse, support your uh, transformer community, and uh, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Take care, guys. For my next review, Marvel Select The Abomination. And I'll give you guys a close up of him inside of his box for you. Real, real cool figure. I really can't wait to review this guy. So stay tuned, coming up next will be the Marvel Select, The Abomination. Stay tuned, guys.